control, some big common or key points are going to be operation, control the elbow. So if you can keep the elbow up off the ground. Um, key points also is when you're funneling from guard to side control, you first want to start off with a reverse case or the Hasselhoff as a hip control. Then from hip control, work up the spine, work your way up to the near side shoulder, far side shoulder, and just shuffling and shuffling up and across. Um, the first job is to flatten the opponent. So if, once you get them flattened, you want to then start funneling them. When we start funneling them, we're looking to get them, we want them to, us to give us mount or give us back control and, or the submission of choice. Keep smiling down. Belt, you're gonna lay across the hips. This is gonna be a heavy, heavy hip cold. We're gonna be pulling far side elbow to the ground towards your hip. And you're gonna be squeezing bottom knee under their butt, under their hip. Near side arm right here will be lifting under the knee to drive your down so they can't knee you in the face. We always have a calibration, all right? Any type of softball, panda punch, calibration leg, reference points, prop points here. We're hugging the leg, hugging the hip, knees under, then the foot calibrator. So if he starts bridging, his far side knee can calibrate. If he starts to shrimp, it can start scooting with him. So we have holds and calibration. Anytime we're here. So here we're controlling reverse queso. All right, the submission of choice for this position is gonna be the answer the phone arm lock. When he reaches around the cross face me right here, we're gonna take the hand under the knee, we're gonna grab the wrist, and then we're gonna go ahead and answer the phone behind the elbow, pull the wrist. We're gonna push wrist to the ground all the way. You got a wrist lock with cherry on top right here. Pull the elbow up, pull, push wrist down. All right, so. The next position we're talking about is the Hasselhoff position, all right, no. for the pose. We're going to do the exact same lay across as we did reverse case, so, except this time we're going to lay hip on the hip, elbow across the hip, laying here. Top leg, top leg when we're facing him is going to be forward, bottom leg is going to kick back straight. We're going to keep heavy hips on the far side, hug right here, our hands are elbow, elbow's a good hold, collar's a good hold right here. Let's just hold elbow for training purposes, hugging the elbow. My job right now is not to move up yet, it's to maintain, we wanna know his escapes. Remember the bridge, shrimp bridge, or the big concepts we're looking at here? This is my calibration leg at a 45 degree angle off of him. If he tries to bridge towards me, this foot's the calibrator. If he tries to shrimp away, this foot pushes this hip down at a direction of his feet pushing my butt back in and if he tries to turtle the other way just lay heavy hip and you have far side arm to be able to stop him so keep rolling real quick keep rolling this arm traps this elbow over here and then he settles back towards me try to shrimp away again we just capture elbow all right so while we're sitting in the hassle hall what we're going to do right here uh, submission of choice here we're just going to go ahead and work on a choke we're going to take thumb in behind the neck grab it behind the head we're gonna funnel this top arm like right here. If we're trying to cross face him, he wants to relieve the stress with this arm. We're gonna funnel the elbow across. We're gonna slide up, step over the head and arm, squeeze knee down. We're gonna basically heel pull and squeeze knee in and basically pull, push wrist into the neck for a choke. It's like a modified darts arm triangle with your legs. That's the best explanation here. Hand is pushing into the wrist. Leg is pulling arm into the neck. Next piece we're gonna talk about is the half turtle hold, okay? Just like we're sitting here in full turtle position, if I post a leg, we're now in half turtle. And again, this time right here, the foot is a calibrator, but our hand is our more calibration going on right now. If we're sitting beside him in that half ball position, he bridges towards me super strong. We turn into the half turtle as he tries to flow towards us. The bottom knee is catching in front of his leg, the back elbow, the bottom leg can't go to guard, the back elbow right back here stops the shrimp, and then the calibration leg keeps up with him. We want to make sure he can't capture the foot, so we keep, keep weight shifted back and we keep this foot posted forward here. This calibration hand is so whatever he does with his hands and redirections and stuff, we can, we can counter here. And again, if I'm in full turtle on top of him holding on to him, I can't calibrate or I cannot readjust. So we need something to deflect or anything here. Um, he pushes on the knee, all right, near side you can lift, 
But in case he pushes here, we can half cradle. I have Nelson right here. All right, if he just decides to turtle up, you can go and get your collar grips and start setting up for the choke. All right, half turtle hold. Or you could just go ahead and give him a good old bear hug and flatten him out. We're gonna feed the lapel around under the neck. From here, once we get to here, I wanna make sure the shoulder clasps to his belly button so he can't take the other arm back across. Boat ground, head on the ground, pop the half turtle on the other side. And this arm right here is normally pushing the knees or trying to form, grab, scissor, bottom, top arm. Wrist is being pushed into the top of the neck. Bottom arm is being pulled. We grow roots in our turtle. All right, we don't, some people sprawl, some people lay back, just know those are tipping points. Half turtle gives us the ability to grow down without breaking our triangle apart from the control of vapors. Awesome. All right, next position, after half turtle. Right here at any time they push directly at you, at the hips or anything, you're looking for, we're here, we're half turtle or half cradle, or not half cradle, what is this, half off, thank you, that's it. Push it on the hip, our job is to deflect Deflect at the wrist is okay, deflect at the elbow is okay, but look for a joint. Deflect, and then you're going to shift up. And we're back here on the hips. Bottom leg is back when we move to the shoulders. Bottom leg comes forward. Knee to the ear, under the arm or under the head. If you want modified queso, scarf holder, anything. We're squeezing in, both knees touching, feet staggered here. If you're a little smaller, stubby or anything, you may need to step out with your legs more. If you're taller or longer, you can get away with knees touching. Big key is operation control of the elbow at all times, though, through this whole side control. Hold the elbow, hug under the arm, lean over, nose in the neck. Good chest pressure. Pull your shoulders back and slide. We're actually scooping under the armpit on this one. That's where all the motion's coming from, is under the armpit, leaning forward. All right, this hand, keep your head down so it can't be a nuisance. Submission of choice is going to be the Americana here. They're going to frame my face. I'm gonna go ahead and drive arm in, capture arm, then knee stays up by the ear, other knee shifts to the hip, we push hip down. We wanna sit back on our feet and pull elbow to us. So we're in Kesa, that's how I like to get this one preferred. Right here we're holding Kesa. What we're gonna do is we're gonna transition, knee to ear, swivel up. We're gonna go straight in, hip, clamp the head, switch the knees, hand under the hip. In this hand that's by my head, we're gonna sprawl on it. We're gonna sprawl, 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 run north, south until the elbow wants to go under our belly. Once it funnels under our belly, we're gonna underhook it and pull it in close for the north, south stagger. I think that's cheap of the common Japanese or whatever. <laughs> You're pinning in and hugging. All right, so half, half cradle submission choice will be the Kamal right now. They're gonna go ahead and go into a, for an underhook. This one right here, underhook near side body. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna basically trap the wrist. We're gonna crawl over the arm. Pin the arm to the ground once we get a pin. If at any time during the sequence they grab their inside of their thigh, go ahead and secure on the hips and the arm. Then I want you to negatively pull the arm. You're not gonna pull it for the Kimura, you're gonna pull it in the direction of the hand first to secure it to the ground. And then from here, you're gonna go to Kesa with the legs. Both knees here, step over the head, you're gonna pull, pin hand down to the ground, pin head to the ground, then pull shoulder to the sky. All right, with the north-south stagger here to 45, we're sitting back on our feet, pulling him to us. We're gonna do paper cutter here for submission of choice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take hand, reach under the head, feed the lapel right here, from four fingers in to pistol grip, from pistol grip, you're gonna open up to half turtle. You're gonna slide under the neck, find collar, and then elbow's gonna collapse in and down. So here now, while they're spinning, hands up real quick, hands up. While they're spinning, hand flat on the back, gable grip in the back hip. We're gonna attack this near side leg. If we shift and our hands are in the front, we're gonna drop them backwards. If they turn towards me and my, and my locked hands get on their spine, we're gonna fold over. So the flow would be here, he turns towards me, we fold over, he turns away, we hug and pull, he keeps turning away, we drop him backwards. 
Um, that'll be the three sequence of takedowns we're going to work right now. We have, they're just going to do headlock, headlocks, headlock and duck, headlock and duck, headlock and duck. When we get the lock, once we get to the lock on the back, hold over to the ground. All right, he's spinning, he's ducking, keep going, keep going, ducking. Once we get here with the step of the leg, and they keep spinning right here, we're ducking. Create distance. We're just going to go ahead. It's going to close squat, hug. Right here, we're going to eat the leg. Once we eat the leg, you have two options. You could go to the single leg or the drop double here, the hungry hippo. When we're here, if we see that other leg, we're just going to drop to our knees and hug both. If we hug and pick up the leg here, we're going to shuck to the outside. Right here, we're going to switch inside while we're holding the ankle like our favorite uncle here. You're going to take inside, soft fall the back of the other leg, and then spin with it to the outside. 